Outlander fans have been eagerly awaiting the news of when Claire, Jamie, and the rest of their beloved characters will be back for the second half of Season 7. After more than a seven-month hiatus, playfully referred to as Droughtlander by both fans and the cast and crew, Stars and Sony announced the show would return in November in an Instagram post featuring photos from the upcoming eight new episodes. Just some of our faves behind the scenes during production of Season 7, Part 2. It reads in the caption, before making the grand revelation, Hashtag Outlander officially returns this November on STARs. That's another eight-month wait, which translates to a 15-month hiatus by the time the premiere for the second half of season seven hits the small screen. For the most part, fans of the wildly popular drama based on Diana Gabaldon's novel series are not happy and have taken to the comments section to vent their frustration. Stars and Sony announce Outlander will return with Season 7 Part 2 in November, setting off a wave of disappointed fans to vent their frustration over latest Long Droughtlander. The big news came with series of snaps from the new episodes that includes lead actors Catriona Balfi and Sam Hewen. November for 7 bits? That's so disappointing. To promote a supersized S7, then give us the second half of it 15 months later. One fan shared, which sums up the vitriol being shared on social media and the internet. Well over a year since the first half is in the half, it's a different season, declared another disgruntled fan, while another simple wrote, November 2024. Ridiculous. Just ridiculous. It appears many think they long wait is part of a money grab to keep people paying their monthly subscriptions. Not only was it was deceitful, but it was also deceptive to market season 8 as an epic 16-episode season, seemed to be another popular sentiment. Some people took the time to explain exactly why they're so mad with the people at Stars and Sony who set the release date 8 months from now. It's annoying because it's not even a new season, it's the second half of another season that aired over a year ago, one woman argued. When they do this, it doesn't build anticipation, it makes us forget about the storylines, and sometimes even the show itself. NOVNBR? That's not the second part of season 7. That is more than a year between 7A and 7B. That's a completely different season at this point. That didn't happen with the season 1 break, that was only a few months. Another female fan complained. Star Z, you do not care about the longtime fans of this franchise, and you have made a serious mistake stringing us along when we know season 7 is complete and in the can. She added, don't go blaming this on the strike. If the plan is to make us maintain our SSDRZ subscription for months for 7B so you can slide Boehm B in before we even get the rest of season 7, this strategy will be a CKFIRE big time. No one is happy about this decision. I would be willing to bet your talent is not happy about it either. They are ready for a satisfying end and the freedom to go on to other things. Stay or is something is rotten in your corporate office. Shame on you. Jamie and Claire Fraser have been sailing to Scotland for so many months that we weren't sure if they were ever getting off that boat. The Outlander audience has been patiently waiting for an air date of the second half of season 7, and to say the Droughtlander has been long is an understatement. But now we know that Jamie, Claire, Brianna, Roger, Ian, and the gang will be back on Stars with new episodes beginning November. Although that is eight months away, enough time for Marcelli Fraser to just state another baby, as she's known to do twice a season. Before you know it though, Katriela Balf, Sam Human, Sophie Skelton, Rick Rankin, John Bell, Caitlin O'Rean, Paul Gorman, Adso, and Rolo will be back on your screens with eight new amazing episodes. The cast is due to start filming season eight this month, and that will bring another 10 episodes. That's 18 episodes of Outlander left in the future. Savor it. 
The first half of season seven left many of the characters at a crossroads or across seas. For the first time, it seems like Jamie and Claire are happily returning to Scotland on a ship and the threat of war is in the past. It was literally smooth sailing for them. Okay, not Jamie, he was seasick all the way to Scotland. But could all their trauma drama be behind them finally? A Jamie and Claire drama free show? Nah, that won't last long, but those blue eyed babies looked happy in the first half final. So we shall hang on to that. And young Ian is about to see his parents, Jenny and Ian Murray for the first time since he got that fresh new haircut where he has no hair. Will they enjoy young Ian's glow up as much as we do? Time will tell. Brianna and Roger were left in the most stressful cliffhanger with their son kidnapped by Rob Cameron and Roger and Buck McKenzie getting ready to travel back to the past to look for Brianna and Roger's time-traveling gem of a son, Jimmy. Meanwhile, Brianna gets to wait with their daughter, Mandy, wondering if she'll ever see Roger and Jimmy again. Son of a buck. Will the Outlander fam ever get a break? Other than this very, very, very long 15-month break between season seven part one and part two, too soon, there's a lot to look forward to in the second half of season seven. As some Outlander book readers might know, David Barry hinted that Jamie, Claire, and John's relationship gets complicated, and Stephen Cree will be returning as Ian Murray, Jamie, and Claire's brother-in-law. Jenny, Jamie's fiery sister, will also be back on the scene, although with a new actress playing her. But Cree told us that the audience is in for a treat. He even hinted that he and Huynh have some great scenes together and romance will definitely be on the horizon for young Ian and Rachel Hunter, if their secret kiss was any indication. Plus, Ian left his dog with Rachel. So that can only mean one thing, love. And that will also mean that because Ian is a Fraser Murray, you in danger girl. Talking to you, Rachel Hunter. Archbug found her in Rolo, and he's rocking some Fabio-looking hair. Unhinged from the death of his wife, and looking for sweet revenge on Ian who accidentally shot Mrs. Bug. You can tell Arch is out for blood because he doesn't even have time to tie his hair back. For those who can't wait until November, unless you can crack time traveling like Claire, Brianna, Roger, and their wee ones, you can just re-watch Outlander from the beginning. And if you need your fill of Balfi and Hugin, you can revisit their season six and season seven interviews. Season eight will welcome Balf as a first time director as she talked about at ATX in Austin back in June. Marnel Davis sat down with us to break down the season seven final and hinted at some good stuff to come for Jamie and Claire, but also stress, because that is what everyone loves about this show, the hope that Jamie and Claire find their happily ever after but knowing they'll more likely find their unhappily drama filled ever after. You love it, you know you do. And absence makes the heart grow fonder. So come November, Outlander fans will be ready. Clear eyes, big hearts, can't wait.